What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun Life. And Katie. We are in Longview, Texas. And we're going to explore this town. Now, we've been in the area. We know a lot of the small towns uh, from our lot. When we used to live in Alabama, we took a road trip where we pretty much drove around all around Longview, but we never actually entered Longview. So okay. we're gonna actually enter it now, and it's been going through town. Mixed reviews about this town, uh, the stuff on the internet, about this time, it's pretty much poop, YouTube poop on, on the internet. Like, I found one YouTuber who told his life story about why he would never come back to this town, but it seemed like it was all due to his personal life decisions, had nothing to do with the town itself. So we're gonna drive around and see what this town is like for real. Since on the internet, the town desperately needs like a real representation since on the internet, it seems to be very misleading. Some people are trying to portray it's really bad, and then you have a realtor, and he's trying to portray it like it's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just the most family-friendly town you could buy a house in with me and my wife. So you have like realtors trying to sell you a house, and you have gangsters trying to like portray like they're the most gangster hood. So there, there doesn't seem like this town's getting a fair shot um, in any way possible. It seems like it's all misrepresentation for whatever reason the people that live here have way too much personal agendas when they make a video about this town so there's not really too much on the internet now um, this town is known for their medical field there's a lot of work in the medical field and a lot of people are moving here for opportunities give me some stats on population Katie The apartments over here. Mm -hmm. We'll see what it's really about. <coughs> From what I can gather off the internet, the south side of the city has more crime and more problems. So we're gonna look a little bit at the north side, a little bit at the south side, a little bit of downtown. There's a little bit of everything to fill out the town and see if it's a place I would recommend somebody move to if you had to. About 81,000 people here. 81,000 people. That's not a small town. Tyler's bigger <laughs> by population, but I think this town's bigger by importance. Because <laughs> there's more importance up going on here. Tyler's not too far from here. This is kind of like the northeast side of Texas. This looks like a normal southern town nothing different about it just pine trees and dead lawns waiting for the green summer and spring <laughs> for sale by owner i guess they don't like to use that realtor that's on youtube yes <laughs> i guess that realtor on youtube like you know what we're not gonna go with them See a map because at some point I gotta go. At some point we're heading north on some road. McCann? Matthew McConaughey went to high school here. Who the crap is that? You don't know who Matthew McConaughey is? Haven't I made you sit through enough of his movies? <laughs> who the crap is that? Who the crap is Matthew Mahanahay? I think this is the strip's worst one. Here is the <coughs> map. This Who is the, the crap is Matthew Mahanahay? Mahanahay? Who is he? Actor. I don't care. I should have gone more block north. Alright. I should have kept going north. Lincoln lawyer, where he had the car. The Lincoln the lawyer with the car, remember? The lawyer with a car. They call him the Lincoln lawyer in that movie. I don't remember. I don't. I'll 
Lincoln Lawyer? Yeah, we saw that movie. He was in it. I don't know you. <coughs> What's the name of the movie? The Lincoln Lawyer. What? Yeah, it was a lawyer. He didn't have an office, but he worked out of his car. And he'd go to his clients. And what makes you think I watched this movie? Because we saw it in the theater. So it was one of those movies that sucks so bad that I don't remember it. <laughs> There's sure a lot of smoke shops in this town. That's not healthy. in Starbucks. I have no idea why we're here. Can we leave this town? Show me a photo of the guy. I might remember him in a photo. <clears throat> what wrong was I? There's nothing wrong with his eye. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with yours. <laughs> what are you trying to suggest? Better than Alabama. Does he, uh. Well, go, women, turn! Go, women, turn! Arlington, there's nobody at. I think it closed down, right? Close, go here. Come here. They closed that entrance and have it here. Do I have to stop these? I'm not stopping this business. I was going the wrong way. Okay. And, and then they're going the wrong way again. Uh, were they from England or something? <laughs> Crap. Maybe California. They were going the wrong way and then they went the wrong way again. Like, they were already going the I wrong way. I mean, there's way. California nails in this plaza. Mm -hmm. They were already going the wrong way and then they went the wrong way again. Okay, never win one. What's up with these wheels? They look strange. AT&T. Texas wheels? I love how everywhere you go, there's people doing donuts. See, those parking lots are all burnt out. Mm -hmm. Kendallwood Suites down there. I wonder if they're doing donuts in their Priuses. Mm -mm. I don't think a Prius can do a donut. Really? Like break the transmission to do the donut? On the electric? No. You might have some type of built in uh, like traction control. I know. Prius is like the most unfun car you could drive. Exactly. It's like it takes the fun out of being a human. Mm -hmm. If you're in a Prius, like you're like, you're just like a mucus. You're not even a human. Mm -hmm. You're just like a mucus. You just exist. Yeah. For our regular viewers, I got Starbucks today. <coughs> I tried some new stuff. I got a toasted vanilla oat milk. So the last time we had Jax was disgusting. Shaken I hope espresso. We can find a good place that has Jax in the back. Yeah. That last Jax was disgusting. This doesn't look too bad. It's like suburban. Okay, we gotta get back going south. You have to get Jax in GPS Alabama. downtown. GPS downtown. Of course. There's like a town center. We'll get back. And I also tried the. Hey, this car's from Alabama. Yeah. And they're here. We're 
not the only Alabamians here. Can I get to consider myself an Alabamian after one year? What if I still have their accent? I mean, I still sound like them. <laughs> now, these people have done a number of damages to me that I have not been able to recover from. One of which is their accent. I can't get rid of their accent. I'll be in places like, sir, you're going to have to lower your voice when you talk to me. They're like, what type of hick are you? I'm like, I'm like oh, I am not a hick, sir. You're going to have to. Does this go down, huh? I'm still trying to process the map. Okay, I don't think it does. Okay, you don't know where we're at. GPS, downtown. I did. Where it's you? not coming. Uh, uh, uh. You want to get hit, women? There you go. Go around McCann for one mile. I'm actually going to take... Yeah, that's, that makes sense. We were on this road earlier in the video. What are your thoughts so far? We're 11 minutes in this. There's some, like, suburban places here. Across from some, like, trashy suburban. apartments. Suburban? Yeah. These apartments are hot. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that. Yeah, I had the pumpkin loaf from Starbucks for the first time. You know, I've been afraid to try it over the years. <clears throat> I love when I lived in Alabama. The people be like, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Florida. Why though? When you move here? <laughs> I got that all the time in Alabama. <laughs> well, why the crap would you move here? <laughs> like... I don't understand. People don't know, don't understand how hard it is to live in a place that's like not affordable. Mm -hmm. I used to get that all the time when I'm out. Like, why the crap would you come here from a beach town? I'm like, dude, I couldn't afford it. I still can't afford it. I don't know how the crap we're doing this. Turn left onto Montclair Street. I haven't done a job in Florida in two months. I'm about to move to Texas. I can't believe how fast I can walk that hill, man. That was fast. I'm like, I thought I was gonna make it, and I was like, nope, not a chance to come up that hill fast, man. Look at this one. Perfect. Jose, it's, I'm about to move to Texas. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can just get out right here. I need to actually find a place. No, you'll, you'll find a place. Just get out right here. I don't know subscribers ask us if we've seen a lot of squatter trucks in Texas. Probably not. No. I think the only town in Texas that does that is Texarkana. Yeah. And that's because they're bordering Arkan Arkansas on the other side. And there's a real fine line between Texas and Arkansas. Like, once you cross, like, they are very, even, the, that, that's a weird place because each one of those states has their own identity. Yeah. And they kind of meet there, but trust me, you, you can tell who's from where just by looking at them. Or the driver. This feels like Alabama. Mm -hmm. Like indistinguishable from Pratt, I don't remember her. Yeah. This is practically indistinguishable from Alabama. As far as like the looks of place. And you're far east in Alabama. I mean, you're already like in the deep south, pretty much. Louisiana's on the other side, Arkansas's on the other side. You're in the deep south. Our Starbucks was pretty fast though. Yeah. They 
seem to have their crap in order. Better than Tyler. I would say this is probably better than Tyler and Motu. From what I can see so far, what do you think? It's in Tyler yeah. and Longview. This looks a whole lot better, right? This seems to look a whole lot better. From so far, I mean, it was just barely scratching the surface here. Methodical. Methodical mythology is for methodical people that are methodical. Mm -hmm. The word methodical comes to mind when you talk about jazz in Alabama. Our last order, they messed it up so bad. Mm -hmm. <sighs> nice little setting right there. Turn left onto North Fredonia Street. It's weird how their downtown is not easily accessible. In 800 feet, continue straight to stay on Judson Road. Yeah, that works too. Their downtown doesn't continue seem to straight to stay on Judson Road. The downtown doesn't seem to be all that accessible, does it? It's kind of like weirdly like. In a quarter mile, turn left onto West Marshall oh, Avenue. Oh boy! What? A realization Look has the come. Wheels. To... Oh, it was nothing. Yeah, come to my mind. been in Alabama <coughs> every month this year. How's that even possible? Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to be coming up this hill the other way. Okay, I will tell you this. They do jack up trucks and put big wheels on here. A lot. I've seen a lot of it. But they don't seem to squat. They just jack them up. There's a lot of jacked up trucks here. So there is like interest in car culture. Turn but it's not like they squat them. They just jack them up. Yeah. A lot, like big, a lot of big wheels, and big trucks, but no squatting. Yeah, driving boy. Driving man. Wow, you said some trashy things in your life, but <laughs> driving man really tops the list. Driving man. You sound like a like a like a truck driver from. I guess I could have kept going. I don't know why I'm turning here. I don't know why you do half the things you do. I don't know why you do the day to do. <laughs> Dude, you have to make fun of me? Do you have to make fun of me? Every time I pee on myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, this person's letting me pass for some unknown reason. Oh, I gotta go right. Okay. 2,500. Wow, these are not trying to, like, carjack people when they try to sell you something here. They got a big rim store. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of interest in rims here. Big rims. But they don't they don't squat them. They just jack them up. Put What's up with this line at the Hot Dog Express? Hot Dog Express. It's, <laughs> I mean, what? You're amazed at the Hot Dog Express? That's the best thing in town. Another rim store. GPS, uh, where do you want to go to? Uh, Jackson, Mississippi? <coughs> you sure you don't want to drive through Texas? Okay. I want to get back and. As soon as possible? Yeah. Alright, whatever. GPS home then. In a quarter mile. Whatever, just let's get about here. How far is Wetumpka from here? Louisa Wainwright, Lake Country. You want to buy a truck at Lake Country, Chevrolet? We've got Do you want to take the south route or the north route? I don't know yet. I-20? Mm -hmm. I don't want to take either one of them. I was just saying if we're going to go the south route, why don't we just drive south already and get on the guy's side? We could have drove through Texas. Now you got me going to the deep south. Do you think I really want to go to the deep south, bro? Mm -hmm. Downtown's pretty much dead, so there's not much to see. Let's get out of here. Like, we're going to drive to Shreveport. We can either keep on the north route in Shreveport or go the south route through uh, Luau. Luau. Where'd you go? Uh, 
We're going to the Lou Wall. What the crap is the Lou Wall? Louisiana. And get on 49 and drive south in Louisiana and then hug the coast. We can either go through at Alabama and Atlanta and south, or we can hug the coast. I know for a fact going through Atlanta is not a suggested route. It actually is. Let me see. Okay, that looks good. The north route, for sure. Okay. We'll do that one. I can't believe that's a suggested route. There's no way we can stay in Mississippi for a day or two. That's one state we haven't covered too much. That's interesting. <laughs> I hate how I became a channel about helping people move to good areas and not like trash salt and trashy areas. Because that was really fun. We're heading south, we're in the right route. It's always been that. Yeah, two miles and then it'll be a right turn. They said the south side of town is really, really trashy, so we'll see if that's true. Ooh, look at that through there. It's going to look great. Look at all the litter. Those apartments look like crap. That, does, that definitely doesn't seem attractive. No. Spring Creek apartments. Yeah, these apartments are trashy as crap. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a dump on the south side. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. 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 Look I gotta check. I gotta see this from my own two eyes. This one? I don't keep going. Definitely a dump on the south side. Yes, sir. Yep. It's a shame they don't make snowflakes for this truck. Mm -hmm. I'm very upset. Could they make them? Nope. Not in this light pattern. This is totally a dump through here. Look at these neighborhoods, bro. Look like crap. Yeah, the south side of the city is definitely a dump. Let's just go through one of these streets real quick. Just so I can get a close side bird view of what it looks like. Definitely looks depressing. As you can see, like the whole south side of the city is a dump pretty much. That's what the internet said. And that's what pretty much it looks like. In a quarter mile, turn left Don't take my words for it. I'm just reading off the internet. That's what the internet said. The internet said the south side of Longview is a dump. And we're here and there's a dump. Metal bars on the windows. That's never a good thing. Mm -hmm. No ACs. Window shakers. That's never a good thing. Yeah, it's kind of dumpy in here. Some person said they're glad they moved out of Longview because they don't have to feel like they're going to get shot walking down the street. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's never good. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, I can see how this neighborhood would be better. In 500 feet, turn right. J-Town Roofing. In 1,000 feet, Ooh, turn left on the shame. South High Street. Ooh, yeah, yeah, look at the baller rims on that. Nice. It's not a complete dump, but it does have some trashy aspects. I'm sure there's worse parts of this town, but we don't have time to go through it today. We are far from home. We're working our way back. We gotta get going. Turn left. Siri, I don't like the way you said turn left. You're gonna talk to me with respect, women. I say it again, and this time I want some respect, women. 
can't even tell you what happens when you don't respect me. Don't touch me. Why you, whoa, 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 you gotta make up your mind, buddy. <laughs> you got your family in the car, you don't want to drive like that with people you love. Or Southern classic shit. Tacos y mar. Cancun. Cancun, cun, cun, cun. El Cancun. Shop. A super one foods up ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not too impressed by this town. It's not like the worst I've seen, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not the best. Mm -hmm. But I guess if it's not the worst, that's enough to finish people to move here. Palateria. Texas style right there, that kind of like. I think I, I want to get a Cadillac. You want to start trucking for a Cadillac? Yes. Like an old Cadillac? Or no, no, like a newer like a newer Cadillac. I mean, you like Cadillacs today, don't you? Yeah. I, I want to get something with like better gas mileage. Yeah, but so street. comfortable to travel in. We'll test drive one. How about that? And then let's go to the Cadillac dealership in Street Fort and test drive one. Might be one of those where you test driving and you don't like it anymore. Mm -hmm. Continue for one and a half miles. You really think we should sell this truck? Gas mileage is just uh, it's it, it's the gas mileage is what kill it. It's a great truck, don't get me wrong, but the gas just ha it's too much. Yeah. With the gas, we need something a little flexible, but still comfortable for us. But it just eats up too much gas, and our work is in our car, so. I look at comfort way more than uh, yeah, it, the gas mileage. I agree, but okay, I do. This think is great comfort flow material. That place looks good. <laughs> it does. Yeah. And it also mm -hmm. is great comfort photo material. It is. <laughs> more than the fact their food looks good, I'm more worried about their cover photo ability. I like fresas con crema, but I can't have it. Because mm -hmm. I like my husband. And he is allergic to Fresa. Mm -hmm. It's good cover photo material right there. <laughs> I like Palaterias. Yeah. New and used cars and rims. The good thing about driving through small towns is we don't lose time when we're driving through small towns. Mm -hmm. If you're on country roads and, and Main Street is the shit you're on, mm -hmm. you're not losing time. You can do 20 videos driving through 20 small towns yeah. and you don't lose a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to get on I 20 up here in half a mile. Mm -hmm. Let's get some gasoline. Half a mile or still more. There's probably better grass seasons by the highway. We'll get some guys on here. And then you can take over the wheel. In a quarter mile, use the right lane to take the ramp to Shreveport. Mm, oh, that was it. Did I miss it? Keep driving for a little bit longer. It's not really too much gas around here. Okay, hey guys. Looking on the other side of the bridge? In the video in the end of my Starbucks. There is a gas station. I'm still working on mine. Looks kind of ghetto, but we'll hit we'll get gas here. Alright guys, there it is. Check it out.